Are you camera shy? Do you know anybody in your family, in your business, maybe a friend that would love to be using video right now to grow their business but hates to be in front of a camera? Because if you know someone, I believe this video may help that person. My name is Roberto Monaco with Influenceology. Question for you. You're walking and then all of a sudden you see a fire, see smoke everywhere. And then you go like, wow, I gotta put this fire out. And you have some water. Where are you gonna throw the water? In the smoke or in a source of the fire? Of course, right? The answer you're gonna put the water in the source of the fire, not in the smoke. The same thing with camera shyness. You gotta address what's causing camera shyness. And for the most people, is their belief system. So let me share with you three things, three beliefs that's gonna support you to be a good presenter in front of the camera. Idea number one, belief number one, there is nothing wrong with you. Some people, before they start recording or doing public speaking, they have all this nervous energy. They think, Roberto, there's something wrong with me. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Everybody has the energy. Many, 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 many years ago, when we were cavemen, cavemen, right? Cave woman, they're walking around by themselves in the field. There's no place to hide, no gun, and then all of a sudden they see these strange creatures all over. Then what happens? Either they fight or flight. So every time you have a situation where in front of people you have no place to hide, you're just by yourself, or you have like a new situation, like for most people recording videos new, they have this fight or flight mechanism. So the energy that you have, everybody, everybody, everybody has the same energy. Some people have a very strong energy, some people have less strong energy. And the idea here is recognize that there's nothing wrong with you, there's not a problem, it's just your body telling you, hey, just get ready. It's not that you came a shy, it's just that you have this energy and your body telling you, hey, get ready to record a powerful message. Because there's a difference between feelings and emotions. Feeling is how you, the sensations you have in your body, how you feel the emotion before you have a camera in front of, or before in front of an audience. And emotion is how you label them. So for some people, they are labeling that feeling, I'm a camera shy. Some people are labeling those feelings excitement because they're about to communicate a message from their heart. So it's not that your camera shy, is that your body telling you to become ready. So belief number one, there's nothing wrong with you. Belief number two, everybody already sees you this way. When you go to a store, when you go to a grocery store, when you go to a meeting, when you go to the gym, guess what? People already recognize a beautiful face. I learned that from Carl White. The only person who's not used to ourselves is us. I hate myself on camera. My nose is too big, I hate my accent. Look at my hair, look at my ears, blah, 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 blah. You know what guys, everybody already is familiar with your beautiful face. Go out there and just record it. Here's a quick strategy. You get your little camera, your iPhone, your Droid, and start recording the environment, and then you go like this. Oops, oops, start recording yourself a couple times, then watch it. You know what, it's not that bad, right? I look like Tom Cruise, whatever, or Pamela Anderson, right, just joking. But the fact is this, guys, just start recording, recording, and you'll be like, you know what, that's not that bad, because what really matters is my message and how I can help my community, my client, my prospective clients. That's the idea. Get over yourself and start recording right now. And the third point is this. You are not camera shy. You are doing camera shyness. You are doing uncertainty. Look, I know in my heart that there's a lot of moments in your life, in your day-to-day -day living, that you are 100% confident and certain. Right? I know that. So just bring that confidence, that certainty, in front of a camera, because it's the same thing. The fact is this, you're not walk around and talk to people the whole time and say, hey, I'm a, I have a camera shyness. No, you don't, right? Before you get a camera, you may be doing camera shyness because you're focusing on the wrong thing. You have a conversation in your head saying, I don't look good on camera. Then you focus on how bad you're gonna look and what kind of message you're gonna say. And that uncertainty, that conversation, that focus caused you to have these bad emotions. So I'm here to tell you that you're not camera shy, you are doing 
camera shyness. And the way you stop doing camera shyness and start doing confidence is to really focus on your message, focus on the impact. And remember a time when you felt totally confident when you talk to your clients, when you help your clients, when you help your kids, you have confidence within you right now. And you bring that emotion, that state, and start recording so that your mess is gonna be really powerful. I promise you that. As you cover today, the little energy you have in your body is just your body telling you, hey, it's time to get ready to record a powerful message. Number two, you have this beautiful face that God gave you. Go out there and touch people's lives. People already used to you and get used to it. Start recording today. And number three, the third point is this. Stop doing camera shyness. Start doing confidence because you already have confidence inside of you. If you want to learn more about how to overcome uh, camera shyness, public speaking, influence, video marketing, marketing, business growth, go to www.influenceology.com www.influenceology.com Remember this, when you're confident, you can have a lot of fun. And when you can have a lot of fun with confidence, you can do amazing things in your life. I see you guys soon. Bye-bye.